Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Debates of how the game is aside, I think we can all agree that the trailers for the game were absolutely incredible. But all those trailers reminded me of something. My childhood. And that reminded me of my favorite Spider-Man game trailer, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Do you remember that one? I don't know if Moonlight Sonata is copyrighted. Let me check. Okay, all of Beethoven's music is public domain? Sick. The one that goes dun 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 But that begs the question, what if there's a better Spider-Man game trailer out there? And so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I've compiled every single Spider-Man game trailer I could find, and we're gonna rank them. I'm gonna be ranking these trailers like this on the tier system. First up, S is the best of the best, A is extremely good, B is solid, C is whatever, and F is just no, this is not a good trailer. I'm gonna try to be as nice as possible, but I'm sure there's gonna be some bad ones. But also, some games have multiple trailers, so what we've done is we've chosen the best trailer possible to represent that game. So it's best if the trailer has in-game cinematics, if it has gameplay, if it's using like some other cinematic that is not in the game, like the Spider-Man PS4 Be Greater trailer, that trailer has cinematics that you never see in the game. That isn't a trailer that accurately represents the game, so we're not using it. So let's get started. The first game is Spider-Man from 1982. This this is for the Atari and the Odyssey. Whoa. Try to get up there in time, Spider-Man! Watch me cut my web, goblin! Well, firstly, oh my god. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm straight off the bat. They used real people? That's huge. This is the only trailer that I could find for this game, so I mean, that's what we're gonna have to deal with. It shows the game itself, that's really cool. It kind of makes me want to play the game. It more so makes me want to just hang out with these people in costume. I really appreciate the amount of budget they put in though. They have like all these crazy costumes. I'm not a fan of the Green Goblin's voice. I'll blow this out to misery. It's almost too annoying. Even though I know Green Goblin's supposed to be annoying, it's like, stop. You know what? This one was almost an S because of the amount of effort they put in with like the costumes and it's so classic looking. Spider-Man's playing the game. Is this more action than even Spider-Man can handle? I'm gonna give it an A because I feel like something, something's missing. There's a certain type of thing that I'm looking for. It's like a wow factor. And I, I think this one is very close to it because there's people in costumes, but it didn't make me go, wow. You know what I mean? Next game I could find, Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin from 1990 for the Genesis, the Master System, the Game Gear, and the Sega CD. My voice is already shot. I'm so sick. It's crazy. Also, thank you, RGTV. They've compiled like three trailers I use in this video, I'm pretty sure. Super helpful, thank you so much. Sega introduces Spider-Man with real web-slinging action. New Streets of Rage. You control 40 incredible moves. Yeah. What is happening? Genesis is so much more. Oh, I see what's Genesis happening. Gives you more. This is the only trailer that's available for Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin, and it's a Sega Genesis trailer. It's not a game trailer. It's a scene. It did get me hyped up to play the Sega Genesis, though, but it's not a Spider-Man game trailer. It's a Sega Genesis trailer but it wasn't trash. I'm gonna give this a C. It's gonna go in C tier. The next game is Spider-Man the Video Game from 1991. It's a Sega arcade game. It's black. It's just a black screen. Never mind, he's here. It's Marvel Comics' amazing Spider-Man like you've never seen him before in four action-packed video games. Whoa. Take on supervillains Venom and Carnage. Get ready as Marvel Comics' dream team bursts onto Super Nintendo in Spider-Man and the X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. This is another game. And Gambit's exploding cards to foil our- It just went to another game now. Now it's just- it, Now it's talking about another whole-ass game. If this is too much action for you, take it up with this guy. That's so funny. Take it up with this guy. I think one thing you're gonna see is that every era of like game has this one defining piece of media for Spider-Man that it kind of bases itself off of. This game's from 1991, but I'm pretty sure it's using footage from the 1981 Spider-Man show. The Spider-Man game from the 2000s uses footage from the 90s Spider-Man show and so on. And I think that's really cool. The only issue with this trailer is that it used just too much show footage. I wanted to see more game. What I will say though, is that I really liked the CG graphics it used out of no Nowhere. I know it actually doesn't really represent the game, but it's used to really like showcase, whoa, Spider-Man in 3D. I think that's really cool. I don't know. It's like having a cool title sequence. You want to show off and really, you know, impact the view. So I'm going to give this one a B. I really, I really like that at least it tried to go all out with its advertising. And I think that's really cool, but it could have been better. It needed to use a little more stuff from the game itself. I think. Jesus, there's so many. <clears throat> What? Wait. Oh shit, wait. I just realized... <laughs> okay, okay, this blew my mind. Spider-Man 
Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six and Spider-Man and the X-Men in Arcade's Revenge are all in the same trailer. All of them be them makes my life so much easier. Again, cool cinematics, uh, really, really hype music, but I want to see more of the game. I want to see less of the shows and stuff like that. So yeah, all of them B tier. This is the 90s though. Like, really, really nice advertising. Really poppy. The next one is The Amazing Spider-Man 3 Invasion of the Spider Slayers. This is from 1993, and this is for the Game Boy. Now, the Game Boy actually released two Spider-Man games prior to this one. That's why it's called The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Unlike Mark Webb's movies ever, am I right? <laughs> I want to see Andrew Garfield again, dude. As Spider-Man. I watch him in other things. Swing into action against Razor Wing, bolt firing Spider Slayers in the all new Spider Man 3 Invasion of the Spider Slayers for Game Boy from LJN. That was it. Awesome. F. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm not gonna lie, it's bad. It's just an image and talking. That's an F. I don't know what else to say. Like, what else can it be? You know what? Let's let's do them a favor. Let's actually watch the game. Let's see if it's nice looking. It's the 90s. I can't be mean to it. I, I had a Game Boy, and, you know, the games I play look better than this one, but I think for, for the time, this must have been... Uh, incredible. Especially portable. Oh my gosh. Props to you, Invasion of the Spider Slayers. Uh, you're the first Game Boy game here to have a trailer for it. So, that's awesome. Alright, now this one is Spider-Man and Venom Maximum Carnage. I saw this trailer, I saw like two seconds of it to get the link, and I'm, I'm excited. And I've heard this game is a huge favorite for a lot of people, so let's just get into it right now. New York City. Panic. Okay, it's kind of crazy. It's crazy to go from real footage to game out of nowhere. That freaked me out for a second. It just threw me for a loop. But also the footage is crazy. Like you got real people going around and running and like sets and like wind blowing and everything. Like I want to know what the budget was for this because it must have been huge. Like there's no way, you know? I'm going to blow my nose on camera because I'm too tired to fucking go to the bathroom. And that was before. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. I know, I know that basically I said, hey, I don't want to see too much of stuff that isn't from the actual game. But sometimes when something is so good, you just got to give it to it, you know? The amount of effort that went in, the art direction, like everything's gray and the sky is red. Fucking Carnage in the sky? Hello? That's S tier. There's no way that's not S tier and I'm not, there's no argument. It did show game footage, which is good. I wish it showed more and I wish it combined well, but at the same time, who gives a shit? That's easily one of the best trailers I've ever seen for a game. It made me want to play it instantly and honestly, I feel like that's probably the biggest thing. It had that wow factor that I'm looking for. So I gotta give it to it. I gotta give it to Maximum Carnage. That's an S tier trailer. Good job, Maximum Carnage. Holy shit. What's the next game? It won't beat it. I'm excited. Next game is Venom Spider-Man Separation Anxiety, 1995 for the SNES and the Genesis. Or the SNES and the Genesis? Don't even ask me. I, I wasn't born when these games came out. Parting is such sweet sorrow in Separation Anxiety, the video game. With two-player action and chilling computer-rendered graphics, Venom joins Spidey to battle the symbiotes and the jury. That was fast. Okay. Um, that is a... C? They did show... All this footage, which is awesome, but there was no wow factor. It was just like a narrator going, yo, you gotta play this game, it looks cool. I feel like it needed more choo -choo visuals, you know? Like, give me some effects in there. Give me some, give me something crazy. Make the make the footage go, whoa, whoa, zoom in, zoom out, or something, you know? It's close to being a B because it has what I want, which is footage of the game and someone at least describing what the game is or some narration or something that shows story, I don't know. But it was missing that wow factor and that's what I'm really looking for. I'm gonna have to put it in C tier. Sorry, separation anxiety. Let's hope the next game is good. Spider-Man 1995 SNES and the Genesis is the next game. Let's see how this one comes out. No need to panic. Could be critical. 
even with the Fantastic Four. His number may be up. Marvel Spider-Man, the video game from Acclaim. Whoa. Okay, okay, hold on. I think I'm gonna... No, hold on. Because this one has so little footage. If it had more footage, it would be A tier. Damn, this is B tier. It's a really, really high B tier. And the reason why I love the heartbeat monitor kind of effect, the presentation is excellent. The thing is just, it uses too much of the show. And again, like I said before, it's the eras. And this era, 1995, Spider-Man, the 90s show, that was huge. That's what it's using. That's what it's basing itself off of. But it needs more of the game. I think there's only like five shots of the game in total, but also like, you know, I wish it got a little more, but it's a very high B. This is a good trailer. Me when I see a really good Spider-Man game trailer. <laughs> Yo, so um, what does he shoot from his wrists? Come? Why, dude? <laughs> it's so much. <laughs> All right, we made it. It's the 2000s. We're in the present, baby, at least the present century. And now it's time for Spider-Man from the 2000s. This is for the PlayStation, Game Boy Color, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, Microsoft Windows. I'm pretty sure we're watching the PlayStation trailer. Let's go. Dude, I, I got so excited. I was like, holy shit, what the fuck is happening? It's just the Activision logo. Okay, remember when Activision was huge? Is it still huge? It used to be like this thing I would hear all the time. I don't know if I hear about him anymore. Real quick, this trailer has insane flashing lights for some reason. I, I don't know why. So I guess I'll give it an epilepsy warning. Like if you're prone to seizures because of flashing lights like that, I, I would say skip this trailer just in case. I'm not super sure, but it's giving like crazy flashing lights and I, I don't I don't want to risk that. Just skip to this point in time when I'm done talking about the trailer because it kind of goes crazy for some reason. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Am I in a fucking club? What is up with the, why is, why is that happening? <laughs> This trailer is giving me so much nostalgia, dude. I didn't play this when the game came out. Yeah, th this thing was like, when I played it, this thing was my childhood. I would play it all the time. This is also why the scorpion design in this game, you know, with the blue armor, is my favorite scorpion design. I think scorpion should almost always look like that, or at least have blue accents. I thought that was really cool. Arachnid with an attitude. Yeah, go off, dude. Remember when Peter Parker was like meaner? <laughs> Let's freaking go. That's my childhood right there. Hell yeah. Dude, I played the shit out of that so much when I was little. I, I played it on PC, not the PlayStation 1. I've never had a PlayStation 1. This thing was my shit, man. This thing was my shit. Yeah, that was awesome. That's S tier. I would put it in A. But the thing is that this is the 2000s. It's such an improvement from its predecessors already. And it's not really at the level of what trailers can be now. But for the time, I think this is excellent and the way it kind of climaxes at the end, I think it was really cool. I was getting really into it, and I love that it used FX from the game. That was really dope. So, I'm gonna have to give this an S tier. And it's not just nostalgia. I genuinely think that it's, it's a really solid trailer, and the fact that it's during this time period, I feel, um, really helps it out. Which means that I am gonna go harder on more recent trailers, by the way. Now, onto the next one, Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro from 2001 for the PlayStation. Jesus, I love this trailer already. Not in that way. I don't think it's that good yet. It's just, it feels like the trailer's in love with Spider-Man. <laughs> it's like going, <laughs> he's so fast, so strong, so agile. It's so funny. Mary Jane, when she sees that spider cock. <laughs> Sorry, oh my God. <laughs> You don't just play it, you live it is a, is a nice uh, little tag. I'm gonna give this an A, it's a very high A. It's so close to being S tier, but the thing that brings it down is the fact that it just, it's so close to giving that wow, but it doesn't, it doesn't accomplish that. It's so close, but no dice. Like it, it, 
I feel like it should have really climaxed at the end, maybe showed a cool shot of Electro when it goes, enter Electro, but it doesn't do that, and I wish it did, but bummer, you know? Now here's the thing, I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do, and I'm gonna give this game a second trailer, and this is the only reason why. It's because I feel everyone on Earth should watch this trailer, it's so cool. There is a TV spot for this game. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Not so fast, Electro. Cause Spider-Man's back, and you'll need more than the city's power supply to take on Spidey's ice and taser webbing. Hey, Electro! Who's got the power now? Spider-Man 2, enter Electro. They're ready to fight, are you? Right? What the f- How does Electro here look better than in like all of his movie incarnations? He actually has a fucking suit and it looks awesome. It can work on screen. They just don't try. Jamie Foxx just has like a vest? Dude, give him a sick ass suit like this. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is this is the coolest shit ever and I'm so glad it exists. And again, I feel like it doesn't have enough gameplay footage and it's basically like a cinematic trailer, so it doesn't really count for me. It has actual actors, huge props. The budget must have been crazy for that. That's awesome. Uh, amazing job, whoever was involved. This is really cool. S tier, let's go on to the next game and I think we all know which one that is. I forgot, it's not, it's not Spider-Man 2001. It's not the Raimi game. It's actually Spider-Man Mysterio's Menace for the Game Boy from 2001. <laughs> Was that really the trailer? I think that really is the trailer. Uh, that's a C. I think the biggest thing that prevents this from being an F is that it, it's at least showing the game and it shows what it is and everything. It feels like a montage more than a trailer. You know what I mean? I want a trailer. And so this one is not very good. It's like, whatever, that's a C to me. Try harder, Game Boy. I'm not gonna be playing your new games anytime soon. I love the Game Boy. What a, what a great. What a great machine. It's time, Raimi heads. Spider-Man 2002. For the Game Boy Advance, GameCube, Windows, PlayStation 2, and the Xbox. This is obviously the PlayStation, Xbox, probably Windows version of the game. Let's get into it. Raimi heads, you did it again. That's a really good trailer. That was actually really good. A lot of cinematics, you know? Like I said, I am gonna go harder. I don't think this is S tier. I think this is A tier, but I don't think it's S. I don't think it's, what? You know, like I'm not like losing my shit over it. I think it's really, really good. And uh, honestly, props, whoever made this trailer, really nice editing. And the footage is cool. They got really cool footage. They use specific footage that's only in the trailer. So that's dope. Man, I miss playing this game. I need to re revisit it because it's been a while. But yeah, uh, that is an A tier trailer for me. Next up, actually next two up in a row, fucking crazy Spider-Man win. Spider-Man 2, and then right after Ultimate Spider-Man crazy consecutive winning streak, like holy shit. Anyways, Spider-Man 2, 2004. Game Boy Advance, GameCube, Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox, N-Cage, Mac, OS X, Nintendo DS, PlayStation Portable. We're clearly gonna watch the GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox trailer. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm actually so excited. This is fucking crazy. This is the E3 trailer from 2004. This is the city I protect, New York City. It's my home. This is already an S tier trailer. I don't know how to tell you this, but when you have narration like that from Spider-Man himself in the game, you won. This is already treating the game like a movie almost. Like it's really giving the cinematic kind of feel. Like trailers are starting to evolve here. And that's why I'm going harder on them like as time goes on because the presentation is just upgrading every time. My playground. My responsibility? My responsibility. Yeah.
they knew. They knew they fucking ate with this game and they're showing off like crazy. Like I'm pretty sure this is the first open world Spider-Man game. Right? Like, th that's the thing with this game. And it's crazy that the year after there was another one. Like, that became the norm. Like, that was- that's incredible. Like, it's genuinely incredible. This may come as a shock to you! Out of nowhere, this may come as a shock to you! Crazy. This is fucking awesome. Like, it's showing off the variety of not only gameplay, but the things you can do in the game. One thing I would have liked to see in, like, prior games, even, like, the older ones, like, from the 80s and 90s, because even though you have, like, way simpler mechanics and it's just essentially a side-scroller for a lot of the time, I would have liked to see, like, what the game is showcasing, as in you know, environmental variety. Like there's ways to showcase things you can do in those types of games. And I wish it did that more. It didn't have to be a two minute long trailer, but it could have at least been like a 30 minute, tra 30 second trailer that showed stuff like this, you know? I don't know, I don't know what else to tell you. That was a great trailer. The way it was so long that the music changed at the end and they just, it just became a different track. That's an S tier trailer. It has everything that a trailer should have and more. It went above and beyond. It showcased the variety of things you can do. It had narration. It showcased like villains that you can fight. Like that was a really, really good trailer. And also the nostalgia is crazy. The nostalgia is crazy. Can Ultimate Spider-Man beat this? Are we gonna get two S's in a row? Now this is Ultimate Spider-Man from 2005 for the Game Boy Advance, the GameCube, Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and the Nintendo DS. I'm pretty sure we're watching the GameCube, Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox trailer. Here we go. Jesus Christ. I remember watching this. I remember watching this. I don't remember watching the Spider-Man 2 game trailer, but I remember watching this one. The nostalgia is insane. Like I remember seeing this trailer and going to my parents and being like, watch this. Oh my God, man, the, the fucking nostalgia is crazy. Also, the presentation is already fucking incredible. Wow, this is really cool looking. This is so good. This is already so good. This thing doesn't have narration, but it has like a narrative going on through text. And I think that's awesome. But it also has that comic book look. It's trying to emulate the comic book style. So not only is the game doing this, but the trailer is following suit. And I think that is fucking perfect. I'm smiling. Like, I'm, I'm like genuinely smiling just because it's like fucking awesome. The play both sides reveal, S2. I don't know what else to say. Like, it's perfect. It has that buildup. It has the wow factor. It's just so good. It's such a good trailer. It's genuinely a really good trailer. I will deduct some points. It's still S tier, but like, what does experience the ultimate mean? Experience the ultimate Do you, does it mean experience ultimate? That would make sense. Experience the ultimate is what? Experience the ultimate what? Because it's not called the ultimate Spider-Man. It's called ultimate Spi- I'm thinking too much. S tier, fuck you. Next. This is Spider-Man Battle for New York from 2006 for the Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, and mobile for some reason. Hell yeah, I love this quality. Alrighty, this is cool. I don't, this is not gonna go S tier, maybe A or B. I like that it's using comic book panels. That's actually really cool. I forgot this game existed genuinely, holy shit. I, I really, it's like, it's like Ultimate Spider-Man, but like opposite day version where it's now the Green Goblin for some reason. I'm gonna say, uh, shit, this was hard. Um, the thing is it uses a lot of comic footage and then, no, no, it uses a good amount of actual game footage. Shit, I don't know, guys, I don't know. I'm gonna, oh God. I'm gonna give this a B. It's a very high B. It kind of didn't give me like a, you know, moment, but it, it, it was cool. It's a very high B. It really needed to wow me. 
and it kind of did, but not to the extent of an A. Now this is Spider-Man 3, 2007, Game Boy Advance, Windows, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 2, Wii, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable. I'm pretty sure that this game is two different versions. It's like the Wii game is different and the PlayStation 2 game is different from the PlayStation 3 one, for example. Morbius, you fight Morbius in the PlayStation 2 one? Fucking weird. This is the 2003 PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 version. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get to it. That close-up is so funny, because you know at the time, they were like, look how detailed Spider-Man is! And it was really detailed for the time. It looks really good. He got the black suit! Um, okay, here's what I'm gonna say. That was really good. That's A tier. It's very close to S. It needed some like crazy shit. Um, like the Ultimate Spider-Man, like something like really specific that makes it like, whoa, this is so unique. But that's a really, really, really good trailer. Did Spider-Man fucking kill the Kingpin in this game? He chucked him out the window. He survived though. I think Kingpin survived the fall. No, because Peter can't kill anybody. Like he's not gonna kill anybody in the game, even indirectly, indirectly. Oh, the fall killed him. But that shit was crazy. Damn, this game is wild. It's not that good. It's not as good as like Spider-Man 2, but it's still fun. It's a good time. That was a really nice trailer and I like how long these are. And they're just really, they're, they're giving me, they're, they're taking me on a ride, these trailers. These are getting good. Woo! I'm pumped! Ooh, the Wii version of the game. Holy shit. Okay, let's see how different this looks. Hey, yo, whoa, hold on there, Mike. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh my god. Dude. Bruce Campbell? Oh my god. That's awesome. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Drop the shoe and discover the power of being Spider-Man. Lights down for mood, and get swinging! Yee-haw! Get along, little doggy! The guy got a black shirt at the end? No way, look, look at that, look at that. He has a white shirt, and then at the end he has a fucking black shirt out of nowhere. He just became, like, symbiote version. That's an A, because Bruce Campbell, he's there, that's awesome. A lot of these trailers are good, I thought there'd be a lot more shitty ones, oh my god. Maybe it should have been harsher. But I can't, like, a lot of these are really good. Next one is Spider-Man Friend or Foe, 2007, Windows, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 2, Wii, Xbox 360, PlayStation Portable. I have a feeling that this one is, uh, this one's gonna be a B. I remember the cinematic, dude. Holy shit. This cinematic blew my friggin' mind as a kid. They say you should always keep your friends close, but your enemies closer to make them his closest allies. Is that a fishbowl on your head? Spider-Man, friend or foe. I remember the gimmick from this game, and it was actually a lot of fun. The game's concept is really good. The game's execution is not that good. But it was a genuinely solid beat-em-up. Like, I had a good time playing it, I remember. The trailer itself is... It's giving, like, for kids, and that's what it is. But it's almost like pushing it too much. Not even like the Ratchet and Clank games, which are for kids, essentially. Well, not for kids, they're for general audiences, but it's geared towards, you know, younger audiences. Even they don't kind of treat the audience like, you're a baby. I'm gonna give this a B. This is a, this is an okay trailer. It's, it's fun. It shows what the game is, but it's like, it almost feels like it doesn't want to take itself seriously, and then I can't take it seriously. And there's also no real wow factor to me. From the trailer, not really anything. It's not really giving me anything. Okay, the reason this video exists, I just want to watch this fucking trailer again. Oof, 720, the highest it could be at the time, bro. What has become of my city? Darkness. Without losing myself. This trailer fucking rules. Like it's already as tier as it is now. It's like a movie trailer almost. That's how it plays out. The narration is excellent. The visuals are excellent. Fuck. It, it just it just 
gets you in the mood immediately. And I think that's why it works so well. If I go against everything I stand for, will it be enough? Or am I already too late? I just want to say, the voice actor sounds so good in this trailer, and in the game he just sounds too whiny. So he can actually sound like a good Spider-Man, it's just that in the game, he doesn't sound that good. They're like, yo, uh, speak higher because Spider-Man's young. And so he starts sounding like this. Mike Vaughn, I think we all owe you an apology. I feel like this was actually like a directing problem because you sound really good as Spider-Man in this trailer. Now that's how you end a freaking trailer, dude. You you can't beat that. That's a that's fucking Godzilla venom. That's what I mean by like that's the wow, like the whoa. Seizecontrol.com too. Don't go to that website now. We don't know who has that website now. Holy crap! I remember the Spider-Man Web of Shadows website. I was there all the time. It was such a cool looking website. They had like the character bios and everything with like renders of the characters. It was so cool. S tier trailer, obviously. Fucking phenomenal trailer. I don't think there's a Spider-Man trailer after this that beat it. Like it, it's just too good. They ate and left no crumbs. Spider-Man Toxic City by Gameloft, yay. It's a mobile game. Let's see what's up. Maybe this game will blow my fucking socks off. I don't even need to finish watching it. C, that's a C. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, it's just, it's a C, man. Like. Now, this is Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions 2010, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 3, Wii, Xbox 360, Windows. This is one of the best Spider-Man games ever made. And if you haven't played it, play it. It's so good. It is 100% worth your time if you can play it, if you can figure out how to. Now this is the launch trailer. I'm pretty sure this is when all the dimensions were revealed because when they made this game, they made separate trailers that revealed every single dimension. The coolest type ever. The last one was Ultimate and I was like, really the black suit is the last dimension? That makes no sense because the black suit is Peter. But they, they made it work because it's like the amazing dimension and the ultimate dimension. I am stealth. I am speed. I am agility. I am power. Hell yeah. I think that's Josh Keaton, I'm pretty sure. Fucking ate that. If it's not, remove that CJ. But I'm pretty sure that's Josh Keaton. I am, I am, I am, I am. Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh shit, watch out, Spidey! Yeah, I, I, I gotta say, like, what else can I say? I think I'm gonna have to put it S. I really screwed myself over because I chose the best trailers for every game, and the best trailers are the best trailers, and that was an amazing trailer. I would probably give it an A, but the fact that it went, like, every dimension, and it went, like, I am stealth, I am speed. That's so cool. I thought that was so cool. I don't know what to tell you. That, that was dope. That's an S tier trailer. That was great. Fuck. Fuck. If the rest of the trailers here are S's, you can't blame me because they're all fucking awesome. It's your own fault for clicking this video. I think this is gonna be another S, dude. This is Spider-Man Edge of Time, PlayStation 3, Xbox. This is 2011. I remember this trailer being really, really good. I, I don't think the game is as good as Shattered Dimensions, but the fact that it had a way more, like, I guess, interesting story was, like, really its selling point. And even though I don't think it's that good, this trailer, I'm pretty sure it's gonna eat my ass. <laughs> Our reality is coming apart at the seams. We must defeat our enemies. And defy death itself. You know, I remember seeing Spider-Man die and I was like, this is gonna be the coolest shit ever. Uh, and it was really, it was, it was cool that Spider-Man fucking like bit it in this game, well, bit it. The cinematics of this game are really cool too. Like, I, I don't know, they, they really ate with those cinematics. <laughs> I was wrong. Maybe not S. Uh, maybe like the teaser trailer was like an S maybe. Let me see, doesn't Edge of Time have another trailer? Let me, let me see. I was giving the game the benefit of the doubt that it had a better trailer. And um, 
I guess it impacted me more when I was little. I really thought the visual of Spider-Man like being dead was like the craziest shit. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be an S tier trailer. But actually the trailer is not like S. I think it's a really good A trailer. That's an, that's an A. I even gave it the benefit of the doubt. I looked up like another trailer to see if there was a better one. No, this is, this is, I probably chose one of the better ones. That's an A to me. The game isn't like, not S if, if that's your opinion of the game, but like, that's an A trailer. Let's go on to The Amazing Spider-Man 2012. They had it for, fuck, every, everything. Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 3, Wii, Xbox, Android, iOS, Windows, Mobile, Wii U, Windows Phone, and PlayStation Vita. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're watching the PlayStation Xbox trailer. Why would anyone go to the PlayStation Vita for this trailer? Like, no. I'm excited. I remember liking this trailer from what I remember. Let's see what happens. Okay, pop off, pop this off. city can never be saved. I see that now. I forgot Nolan North was in this game and he was Alistair Smythe. Oh my god. This game was fucking weird. But no, there was a spider slayer battle like in the middle of the city. That shit was sick. This game is actually pretty, pretty dope. Wakey, wakey, Spider Man. That's so dated, bro. <laughs> oh man. Dubstep, dude. How would you like your tombstone to read? Spider-Man or Peter Parker? Yeah, that's a B. I don't think it's even mixed that well. Like the sound design isn't that good. Like I could barely hear Nolan, Nolan, Nolan North. Being sick makes your voice like bleh, bleh, bleh. Like it's crazy. And the dubstep was just not, it was not hitting. That's a B. And I'm glad we have more B, C tier because I feel like everything is A, S. So yeah, that's another B trailer. Let's go. Next game is Ultimate Spider-Man Total Mayhem 2013. This is for the iOS and Android. And look, you see, you see, this is freaking Gameloft. Gameloft can cook. I don't know what they were doing with their prior game, which got an F, but like, look, you're gonna see this is an actual trailer. Like, the game itself, you know, it's for mobile, so it looks like that, but hey, you know what? This is a trailer, and they tried. Yeah, that's a C. I mean, like, they're getting better. <laughs> they're getting better, but it's a C. I, like, I don't know what to tell you, Game Loft, but you know what? I'll clap because you did, you did something. That was good, that was good, good job. Next game, Spider-Man Unlimited, iOS, 2013, Android and Windows Phone. So they came out of the same year, that's crazy. All right, so this is their next game. And I think we know what game this is. It's the game that, uh, that's gone. Like, you, I, I think you just can't play it anymore. Okay. Did you see that? It has like its own like version of the logo. Okay, okay, already a, already probably a B. Let's go. Mention is doomed. Spider Man, Nick Fury, this can't be good. The Sinister Six will be sorry they ever met me. Dude, I... Oh my god. Okay, Game Loft. Game Loft? That was really good. You know what? Oh my god. Okay. This is gonna be so douchey. I was gonna give this an A. I'm gonna give it a B. The only reason why is because the, the voice clip they used where Nick Fury meets Spider-Man. You got that right. They couldn't bother to get the clean audio for it. They just got the footage from the game. So you can hear the background sound effects and like background music from the game in the trailer. That's the only reason I'm gonna give it a B. I feel like, you know, I think there's another Gameloft game. Hold on, hold on. Gameloft made the amazing Spider-Man 2 game for mobile. That's the only reason I'm giving them a B because I wanna see them really prove themselves and make a really, really, really good trailer. If they make a really, really, really good trailer for that game, 
that's gonna be an A, hopefully. Let's go on to the next game, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 from 2014. This is for Android, iOS, Windows, Nintendo 3DS, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Wii U, Xbox 360, Xbox One. This is probably the PlayStation Xbox version. Have you noticed that like every Spider-Man game had Kingpin after like 2007? Like it was Spider-Man 3, Web of Shadows, oh, Shadow Dimensions and Edge of Time don't have him. But then he came back in Amazing Spider-Man 2 and then he's in Marvel Spider-Man. Like Kingpin is a lot of Spider-Man games. The Kingpin pulls the strings on every operation in the city. Bad news is, he hired me to kill you. Let a crime run rampant. If you show evil. What the fuck was that transition? Jesus. Weakness. He will see it. And stop you. Dude. This is really hard. Is that an A or S? You know what, you decide. You decide for this one, A or S. Five, four, three, two, one, A? A? Okay, got it. I was gonna give this an S, but I mean, you chose A, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below which one you think it is, because holy shit, this was really good. I'm gonna give this an A, because I feel like it needed some like huge thing at the end, but like, this was a really good trailer. I thought this was really good. This is an A, this is an A for me, yeah. Also, the game was really fun. I like that it was a, uh, Right trigger, left trigger, web slinging? That was really sick. I am I really like that they did that. The game is kind of ass though. It's Gameloft's turn. Are you ready? Gameloft, time to redeem yourself. It's time. I'm ready for the best trailer of the planet. Here we go. Something big is going on here. I can feel it. I don't want to make things ugly, but if you insist. You can't beat me! Spider-Man. The city is getting rougher every day. Jesus! They fucking destroyed that! Like, that was crazy! I think that was on the same level as the fucking... The other version of the game we just watched, the, like, the console version. Damn, okay, that's an A, that's an A. I'm glad I gave you a B because this was definitely better than the other one, Gameloft. Gameloft, good shit. You really fucking outdone yourself after that first fucking game. That was ridiculously bad. I'm proud of them, holy crap. We've now made it to now. It's Marvel Spider-Man time. That's it, that's all that's left, all the Marvel Spider-Man games. It's kind of crazy how often we would get a new Spider-Man game, like back in the 2000s. Like it was Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man Fender Foe, Web of Shadows, Shattered Dimensions, like that was so many in just like a decade. This is the San Diego Comic-Con story trailer. So let's see how this is. And this is probably gonna be an S just because it's present day, but I'm gonna go really hard on it. I'm gonna go really hard on these last three just so I can really make sure that they're worth it. What is happening to our city, Yuri? I don't know. Feels like the end of the world. Maybe it is. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? All right, well, call the play, coach. You're officially an enemy of the people. I mean, do you have like a cell phone in your in your po pockets or something? That's a good trailer. I, you know what? Being hard on it, that's an A. That's an A for me. I think I remember loving like every single trailer from this Marvel Spider-Man, but it was because we'd gone so long without like a really, really good Spider-Man game that just seeing anything that looked better than a movie tie-in was like the greatest thing ever. As for trailers, this one was really, really good. This is an A, but I don't think it's an S. I think it could have been better. I think there's a lot that could have been improved for these. The footage they used was great and the game looks great, obviously, but I don't know, it needed an oomph. It needed something like really spicy, like, you know, Ultimate Spider-Man had that, you know, look to it. Spider-Man 2 had just, I don't know, the narration and it all felt really like grandiose and it showed really cool aspects of the gameplay. This one kind of was just more so cinematics. I, I don't know, like, yeah. This is an A. This is an A. Spider-Man Miles Morales, 2020, PS5, PS4, let's go. Gotta take the oath. 
I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. They're after new form! Tinkerer! Stop! <laughs> He's like a freaking like jump scare this dude. Oh my god. I will say like narration is something that is always just getting my blood pumping Like the trailer started with narration and that immediately made me like this is cool so far the trailers. Okay, like it's 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 all right um, I really hope it it really blows up in the latter half of this trailer whenever you say spider-man You always mean the other one your spider-man You can fix this This is my time Okay, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. The music. Okay, okay, they ate. That 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 build up to the song, they fucking they ate that. That was that was good shit. Yeah. My time. That was good. That was good. That's S2. I was like, this is A, but like there's gotta it's gotta be like a there's gotta be like a uh, right at the end. And it was gonna give me it wasn't giving me anything. And then the fucking song came out and I'm like, okay. It is his time. He fucking ate that. Like as if Miles edited the trailer. They ate that. Whoever did this. That was good. I like that the shot sequentially like kept changing with the rhythm of the music. That was great. We finally, ow! I just slammed my hand on the table. Holy shit. On the brown table. Make sure to slam your hand on the subscribe button. Anyways, we made it to Marvel Spider-Man 2 uh, 2023. Let's freaking do it. A lot's happened in the last 10 years. It's a miracle I'm even sitting here now. I got a second chance. And I'm gonna take advantage of that. This trailer is already really good. There's something about, like, even if the game, like, isn't as good as the first one or even Miles Morales, I actually think Miles Morales might be the best one. Maybe the first one is actually better. It's because it has more. If Miles Morales was longer, it'd be better. It feels like they knew the scope of this game. Like, they knew this is the sequel to one of the uh, most popular modern PS5, you know, games, uh, and it's Spider-Man. And they knew, like, so much is writing on this. And the trailer, you feel that. You feel that it's a sequel. You feel that this is like an escalation. And it's doing really well so far. Go help him. This was our dream. Can I just say, people shit on this game way too much. There's things to critique, but like, I feel like so much of it is just like, Venom isn't Eddie Brock, so fuck this game. That's such a weak critique to me. I feel like it's a better critique to be like, Harry's a weak character. That's a better critique. Or like it's missing a lot of uh, gameplay features that the first game already had. I feel like there's so many things that people forget about in this game, you know? Like the Peter versus Miles fight when uh, Peter has the symbiote. That was fucking excellent. Your first time playing as Venom and the only time. Mary Jane escaping from a Venomized uh, Peter is such a highlight of the game. Like there's so much, there's so much good. It, it just falls apart in the last like couple missions. The biggest chunk of the game is like pretty much near perfect for me. Yeah, I hope with all the updates that come later, it becomes a better game, but like, yeah, um, it gets really shit on a lot. I don't think it deserves it that much. And most of it is Sony's fault, like what isn't? We're going to kill the world. What a good trailer. That's S2 to me. There's something about it feeling just like a, like an almost like end of end of everything event. Like this is it. This is an event. This isn't a game that really just kind of pushed everything. And that Venom reveal too, really cool. Seeing Venom is so dope every time. And the way you present him is super important. So kind of like how Web of Shadows presented Godzilla Venom, this just presents Venom as a being and makes him feel larger than life, which is awesome. That's S tier, baby. This is the final tier list, by the way. Oh my God, this is the final tier list. Uh, right here. There's so many Spider-Man trailers. There's so many. Like, too many. Alright, that's the end of the video. That was so long. Actually, wait, wait, stay, stay, because I have a question. I have a genuine question. It's not a sponsor or an ad or anything. I've been trying to find this game. Whoever knows about this game, you're the best. I don't know what it's called. Back in the 2000s, there, I think there was like a game, like a box. Like a box uh, that came with like a game, like a big box, and I think it maybe came with like a CD or like a DVD of like a game that you can input either on your TV or your computer or something. It came with maybe gloves, or it came with something that you put on. Maybe it was glasses, maybe it was like a helmet, maybe it was gloves or something. The point of the game was that you are the, the hero. You are Spider-Man in first person. But the point of the game is that you are a hero. Uh, I'm pretty sure maybe there was other versions and not just Spider-Man, but the one I remember is you are Spider-Man 
and the game is in first person. And you are fighting, from what I remember on the cover of the box, whatever it was sold in, you're fighting Venom. I'm gonna put up an image of what I remember it kind of looking like. This is what I imagine it looking like. I think it might have been gloves, because you're literally physically punching at the screen, right? But this is the game that I've I've been trying to track down for forever, and I don't know what it's even called, but it's a Marvel game that's in first person, you're like boxing the character. I don't know what else to say. I have n it's it's the memory of a child but I know it existed, and if it doesn't, I'm fucking crazy, and it should exist. But it's kind of like that Shattered Dimensions concept where you're fighting in first person, it's that. But it's like, as a separate box that you can buy and like, connect to either your TV or computer. And I swear to God, this is real, man. I'm telling you this is real, and whoever can find it, you're awesome. I wanna make a video on it, if I can fucking track it down and buy it and play it. But if you, if you do find it, you're the best. Um, Seriously, this is an actual request. I'm, I, I really need to know um, what this thing is called. Um, so thank you so much, CJ, for editing this video because I really couldn't have done it without him. There's so much to edit. I'm so sorry. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching the video. Make sure to check out Interstellar Ranger Commence, the animated series Brown Table is making. Thank you so much, Leafy Illustrations, for this drawing of Jazz from the show. Love the vibe. She looks super happy here. It's great. Thank you so, so much. Remember to support the channel, make sure to become a member. And if you want to become part of the brown table and become a chair, all you have to do is subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks so much for watching.